In our last vlog, we had an awesome time in Las Vegas for the weekend. We explored some quirky attractions and tried out some new restaurants, including one that served up delicious fried seafood. We learned a very important lesson that day. Never eat fried food right before a drive, because all we could do afterwards was take a nap. I'm real tired. Do I got the itis? I might need to lay down for a little while, then get up and get ready to dry these little mouths to get the Southern cow. Oh man, yeah, I'm just waking up. I thought I was gonna lay down for like 30 minutes. That fool had me in a coma. I told you. Woo wee! <laughs> but I'm finally about to get on this road and get this drive out the way so we can be ready to drop this load off tomorrow morning. And so, Cal, child, I did get up and eat the rest of my crab legs though. That's what Good. I'm eating now. At the truck wash this is like a hundred and thirty seven miles into our drive now we're only gonna have a uh, hundred and twenty something miles 120 miles left but you get uh, with high field you get uh, one free truck wash per month and then during the winter months you get two free uh, truck wash per month today's date is actually July 30th I don't know what day y'all gonna see this but um we figured for the month end let's go ahead and get this truck clean it looks so much better when it's clean obviously <laughs> but having an all-white truck you know you try to keep it clean and then we'll try to maybe do another one in the middle of, of next month Too. I would not want to do this work. This is a big old truck to conquer, but I wonder if they get like, you know, that satisfaction of seeing a dirty truck and it's clean. I know women normally get that satisfaction, but I wonder if men get that satisfaction. As a woman, I don't think I would get that satisfaction. Well, I'm just saying because like this one girl at the wax spa, she actually said that she gets a satisfaction. Oh, I think we're getting ready to go. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Hold up. He knocked and what did he do? Or maybe he just wanted you to start it. We're about to go and uh, get the showers in. Dump our toilet. Why he had me start my truck? I don't know. Yes, it's still on there, sir. I ain't gonna lie, no offense to my guys out there, but baby, he I could smell his balls from uh from just standing next to him. Yeah boy. That's what I say, I be only could only imagine what it smelled like back in the back in the days before we had deodorant, the real soap, stuff like that, toothpaste, stuff like that, baby. He said hit him out, move him out. Move them out here, man. Hold up, sir. Let me get my truck in here. <laughs> hey, bad. Them little balls working. All right. They working and twerking. Yes. Whatever the balls do, they doing it. <laughs> they balling. They balling for real, man. Oh, uh, man. All right. All right. Oh, we this, nice and clean. This is different. Yeah, this so, is what different. do they do? Are you supposed to get up here and. What is this? What do they do? Ooh. Are you supposed to stop? This is something you were supposed to pay extra for. So, I feel they cover the classic wash. Anything extra, you just pay for it out your pocket. All I need is a little classic wash. What's that? Rain eggs. All oh, that. I don't need all that. We good. Thank you. He gave him a tip. Right. Thank you. We gonna go on, keep on moving. Morning, everyone. Woo! This weekend was fun. I know. I forgot <laughs> I had a load. It was so 
<laughs> yeah, we're about 10, mi- 10 miles away from um, the uh, the drop-off location. The guy, he actually called us this morning. It was like, hey, just checking in. You know, are you here? Yes, sir, we are here. And thank you for helping us reach our goal for the month. I'm sure most of you have noticed that we do not share the exact dollar amount that we negotiate for each load and what we bring in each week. That's mainly because a lot of this information, like company names, customers, what's in the back of our truck is proprietary. So the best way to protect ourselves and give you all an idea of how we are performing throughout the month, I've created five different levels. The most I can tell you is that when we hit a level three and above for the week, that ensures that we are on target for hitting our annual goal of between 120,000 to 160,000 per year as a couple. Thank you. Right, we are getting ready now to head to pavilions in hopes of getting some really good fruit. Um, it's given. But if y'all remember in one of the vlogs when uh, we were at a home time, I told y'all ever since we got gotten fruit from Southern California, it's been really hard to eat fruit um, in Alabama or any other um, places that just don't taste like Southern Cal, California. So hopefully the experience is the same and we can get us some good fruit, man. Um, well, we haven't told y'all yet. What I don't think I told y'all yet is that we actually already have a load. This load is a level three, I think. Yeah, this load is a level three. So um, it's really all we really need for the week. Of course, I'm not celebrating because it's not on our back. But what the plan is, the, the, the first one is the load. It don't leave until Friday. Today is Monday. Um, so what the plan is, we're going to chill here in L.A., and just do maybe like little small loads around LA to not only boost up boost up our dollar per mile, but to also, uh, I mean, just add on, maybe get the load, get our week to a level four, or shit, maybe even a level five. And But if we don't get a load, and the only thing we get is uh, the load on Friday, we'll still be straight for the week, and we'll be on track for meeting our goal for the month of August. actually looks pretty decent today not a lot of smog not heavy heavy smog you still see it but it's not crazy like it usually be up in this mug i don't know what they be trying to do think we y'all think we can't get up in these little uh parking lots oh we can look at him oh we can look at him man if he can fit i know we can fit man we're gonna all figure this out we say deliveries we often follow store signs intended for deliveries because nine times out of ten there's plenty of space for semi trucks This is what we gotta do for good fruit. Is this the same place we came to? No, this is not the same one. The other one, it has so much more space. Yeah, let's see, we got some space back here. Ooh -wee. We probably could have parked right along this part. But uh, let's see what else we got. Dang, I wish we could park in that dock though until no, but what's over there? But if we do park here, how are we gonna get to pavilions? We gonna walk all the way around? Yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah, it's beautiful in here. But it would have been really tough uh, <laughs> trying to whip the truck in here. So sometimes it helps when you find like delivery signs um, and just figure it out. Another thing too, when you go to these like grocery stores where they have membership cards or stuff like that, Carl will let them know in a heartbeat that we're visitors and they'll give us discounts. This guy, he, he gave us a nice discount the last time just for being a visitor. So definitely throw that out too. What's up you guys? Welcome to another day on the Nick and Carla channel where we are currently um, right in between San Diego and Los Angeles. Um, I have been, we, so first and foremost, I told y'all we already got a load, if I didn't, sorry. And the load, it actually picks up in San Diego and it heads all the way to Philly. However, it doesn't leave until Friday and today is now Tuesday. So um, I actually ended up getting a load, a one day load for Thursday that's in San Diego, which this load will help us for the week hit a level four if everything goes according to plan. Remember, we don't celebrate. I'm not gonna lie, I did a little dance this morning, but I was like, dang, Nick, you breaking the rules. Don't celebrate until it's on your back. Oh, so you did a dance. A little dance, I did a little dance. Oh, so you tell me that part. Yeah, I did a little dance, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> But, um, so if everything goes according to plan, it's a level four. And what we decided to do so I can get some other work done is we are just going to go down to San Diego, uh, hopefully find a nice little place to park and boondock it out and, um, and, um, and just kind of hang out until it is, uh, time to, to move it, to, to book it. But we're here, you guys. The beach is that way. Um, we're actually, we didn't get out the truck. We're just kind of chilling, waiting on it to clear up a little bit so we can get into a parking spot. Other than that, we've just been kind of, you know, just sitting with the truck. And, um, it, but it's busy here. It's packed. Mm -hmm. um, we just ordered some Uber Eats, some uh, vegan, um, it's a vegan Asian restaurant. It got like a, they have a lot of Asian options, but they got other options too. But like it's fully vegan. Like, so we got some like garlic butter fried rice. We trying their little egg rolls, these little summer rolls. We're really just trying different things. Probably ain't even going to be able to eat all of it, but we just wanted to try it. Um, other than that, we're really just chilling. Um, eventually, I do want to get out and get some beach action because... Um, I haven't been on the beach in a minute. <laughs> Thirsty as hell. His license plate is 9CKK. Mm -mm. It's like five minutes away now. Okay. But yeah, so we are 17 miles away from uh, our pickup, which tomorrow we don't have to pick up. So we got an entire free day tomorrow. And then um, today we're chilling. We might be able to strategize and have like a perfect parking spot where we could set ourselves up to just leave. Okay. All right, this him right there. Yep, this is this is us. All right. Are we going to get dinner? Dinner, dinner. Yes. Perfect. Enjoy. We will. <laughs> yeah. They know, just like we know. Ooh, maybe we should check out the Little Mermaid or something. Or we can just keep watching Insecure. Either one of the two. You know, that's my little show. Yeah, we got, like I said, a lot of food because we just wanted to, it was so many things that we wanted to just try. So this right here is the garlic butter 
uh, Asian rice with this mock shrimp um, and some type of mock chicken. And <laughs> My mouth watering. They still put carrots and peas in there. I didn't even ask for it. And onions, green onions and white onions. So this is a lot of food. We'll probably eat this today and tomorrow. And this right here is the lemongrass mock chicken on some uh, salad and uh, some rice. These are their summer rolls. And we got this from Loving Hut down here in San Diego, California. And these are their crispy rolls, their little egg rolls. Try one of these on their little special sauce. Some type of sauce. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. special. There's some special sauce of theirs as well. Let's see what it's giving. You said it was a peanut sauce, didn't you? Yeah. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Dang. They showing out. I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. Girl. Yes, and then try your uh, summer roll with that sauce. <laughs> Good, ain't it? I love clean food. Mm -hmm. Very fresh. Even through delivery, you can just tell how fresh it is. Too, because we in Southern Cali, where they got all the good food. All the good produce. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. If I'm going out there, no, absolutely not. This is about the most I'm gonna do. I thought you said you was gonna get your feet wet. So why you uh? uh I need to see the environment first, <laughs> and it's not is uh no. It's not giving feet friendly. No, <laughs> not giving feet friendly, <laughs> sir. You look motley. <laughs> so people are actually over there surfing. I told Carla I've never seen someone surf in real life. Oh, we heard a bunch of people cheering. And I'm like, what's going on over here? Right there. You know, we actually have beach chairs, but we left them at home. This makes me wish that I would have brought them. Carla asked why this doesn't look as fun. Because, like, it looked when we were younger. It's because when you're younger, you don't drive a car. Now we actually drive for a living. It felt good to drive when you was a kid. Now we get paid to drive. 